see so far? Okay, good. So we will continue on. The first thing I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Ed King, and the reason I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself is every time I attend a workshop like this, the first question I ask myself is, hey, what does this tricky know about my problems? Well, I'm the director of small business services at Wayne State University. I'm the author of three books and the editor of our Wayne State Small Business Newsletter. Uh, I have an accounting consulting firm, and I've been doing these seminars now for 27 years. I am not the smartest guy in the world by any means, but I have learned a lot working with people just like yourself and starting some of my own business, which we'll talk about later on tonight, too. But prior to working at Wayne State, I spent seven years at Price Waterhouse, and these were some of my Fortune 500 companies that I worked with, and I learned a lot working with these larger companies. I also, before I went to work there, I spent seven years at the King Amusement Company. My father was the second largest manufacturer of carnival rides in North America. Has anybody worked for the parents of foreign small business? Nobody worked, anybody working here for, okay, any hands here? How many people, how many people, have, how many people are afraid to raise your hand? <laughs> okay. How many people work for their parents for a small business? Anybody here tonight? Okay, good. Okay, fine. It's, it's, don't be ashamed of this. I know it's tragic. I had the same experience. I worked twice as hard as everybody else did for half the money. So it all seemed to balance out my father's mind. But I'm not bitter about it, of course. We'll be talking more about him tonight as part of my therapy. I'll get back to that rotten, dirty son of a gun. I am a CPA and I have a master's degree from the University of Michigan, but the most important thing about my background is I've started several of my own business and I've also helped tens of thousands of people like yourself in getting your business off the ground. The next thing, uh, these are some, matter of fact, in your packet of information, we have some uh, articles written about me recently. Uh, this was in, uh, in Crane's article, or Crane's article. Here I am in the Detroit News. Um, I'm saying up here, small business should earn 25% return on their investment or shut down. Actually, I said burn it down, but they changed that around a little bit. Uh, Carol Kane was nice enough to write an article about me as a business advisor. Uh, I think in your packet there's some more information about me doing, um, doing some stuff with Co-America. I was also featured in a book called The Obvious Expert. Those of you, how many people are thinking about getting in the service business in here? How many people want to get in the service business in here? Any, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. And uh, one thing you want to do in the service business is to, uh, to, to, to show people your expertise. Matter of fact, and try and show it to them before you ask for an order. And uh, like I say, I was featured in uh, one of those in that book. The next thing I'd like to do is very briefly tell you about Wayne State University. Do we have anybody has ever been to Wayne State University? Okay, good. How many people have heard of Wayne State? Okay, terrific. For those of you who have not, we are America's largest, uh, eighth largest urban university. We're located in Detroit, Michigan. And many years ago, like 30 years ago, Wayne State University made a commitment to small business. Matter of fact, we developed a series of small business workshops, which I'll talk about later on tonight, the last five minutes. It took us five years to put it together. It is a tested step-by-step -step system. In other words, follow the dots. We will show you the dots tonight. And if you follow these dots, there's a 96% chance that you will succeed. Starting a small business or expanding a business is not that hard. All you have to do is follow the dots. Um, it is not pie in the sky promises of getting rich quick. Boy, if you go over to somebody's house or watch somebody at 3 o'clock in the morning on cable television and they stand up there and they say, let me show you how to get rich quick, run. We've looked at them all. They don't exist. Now, you can make a lot of money in small business, but don't let anybody kid you. It takes a certain amount of time, a certain amount of investment of your time in, in, in dollars in starting that small business. And uh, you can make a lot of money in small business, but sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Neither do our classes contain a lot of vague generalities that raise a lot of unanswered questions. Many times I will take other people's classes because I can always learn from the research and experience of other people. Many times it's very theoretical, very abstract. They talk about the laws of supply and demand. We try to make our classes as practical and specific as possible. For example, there's a group of people out there that you should never hire for your business. Stay away from these losers. They'll drive you absolutely insane. Now, they may not cause any problems in the first couple minutes, but I'm telling you within days, you'll be pulling out your hair saying, how in the heck did I ever hire these turkeys? Stay away from them. Now, it's okay to hire your brother and sister in a small business. It's okay to hire your friends. It's okay to hire total strangers. It's okay to hire your parents. It's okay to hire your children. And we'll talk about the tax advantages of hiring children in a few minutes. 
It's okay to hire all those people, but never under any circumstance should you ever hire your in-laws. <laughs> Stay away from in-laws. And it makes sense if you think about it. Every time you treat them like a relative, they want to be treated like an employee. And every time you treat them like an employee, they want to be treated like a relative. They are somewhere in a twilight zone, so watch out for in-laws. We've had thousands of graduates that have gone through our programs over the last 27 years. Um, I know you can't read this, but this is one of our recent graduates. His name is Vince Wade. Does anybody remember Vince Wade, investigative reporter Vince Wade for Channel 2 and Channel 7? Yeah, some of you older people like me. Well, he took our class and got out of the business, and now he's putting together a series of successful uh, videotapes, DVDs on uh, hair uh, styling, because that's what his wife does. Um, the next thing is, is one of our recent graduates, you know, one of the things I'll be talking about later on is advertising. And some of you say, oh, gee, I tried advertising once or twice. It's very expensive. And, um, and, uh, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But one of the things that I really like is free advertising. You know, one of the things we talk about in our class is sending out press releases, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, uh, to various people. And uh, uh, another one is uh, getting on QVC. This was one of our recent uh, graduates. She has a pet, uh, some sort of pet toy there, and she sold $13,400 worth of pet toys in eight minutes on QVC. So, uh, you know, you don't need a whole lot of money to be successful in business, especially when it comes to advertising. Um, those are some people you may recognize, you may not recognize. However, this is our most successful graduate of all times. Back in 1988, that's 25 years ago, roughly, no, 30 years ago, um, uh, you know, Inc. Magazine identified one of our students as being the second fastest growing company in the entire United States. Back in 1983, five years before this evaluation came out, in 1983, a fellow came to our free workshop like you're doing here tonight. He owned a small radio station down in Tarpon Springs. And between the things they learned here tonight and he learned in our classes, he turned that small radio station into the second fastest growing company in the entire United States. He started the Home Shopping Network. So, I mean, the this, this stuff that we'll be talking about tonight works.